Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can streamline your fulfillment on Shopify to significantly boost your profits. And uh, we're gonna jump right into it. There are unlocked profits inside of better operations. What does that mean? You have good systems, you have good operations, you run your business the good way. You can make more money without selling another single product. We're talking about increasing our profit margins, through things like better operations, better fulfillment, the ability to uh, track inventory better, to consolidate orders, to optimize shipping, find the best rates, package everything in the most efficient way, pick and pack without with the least cost. No matter what your fulfillment strategy is, you wanna make sure that it's fully dialed in so you could have every single penny of profit as possible. And again, if you could optimize your fulfillment and your operations, even if you don't sell any more product, you're still going to make more money because you're going to increase your net profit overall. And unfortunately, there's really no good way, no built, built in way to do this with Shopify. You're going to need to use an app or an integration and the app must integrate with pre-built systems easily, right? We don't want to require any heavy technical integrations. We want this to be able to work with different order solutions like self-fulfilled, drop shipped, third party, it's not gonna matter. This is gonna be an overall order management and inventory management tool that I'm gonna show you. And when you have all of these different operational points dialed in, you will raise your profit margin without selling a, another product. Every single time that you sell product, you'll simply just make more profit margin. And the way you're gonna do this is by using Ordero. And I'm gonna show you over the shoulder just how powerful this is. Here's the app right over here, I should say the website over here, and you see the link directly below this video. Highly recommended, you can go ahead and watch this video, but I'm gonna walk you through really all of the features and all the reasons why I use this and why you're gonna to wanna to have this integrated in your store as well. Ordoro is going to allow you to really manage your high volume shipping, even your fulfillment and inventory all at once, and if you're a Shopify Plus user, you're gonna see the power here where they're gonna basically extend the functionality and the flexibility of your Shopify Plus fulfillment and se uh, shipping setups. And there's really a lot that Ordoro can do for you that's going to increase your ROI and really your just overall efficiency. You get total flexibility. You're gonna be able to mix and match your fulfillment models depending on where you're fulfilling from, depending on the type of fulfillment that you wanna go with. Each product may be different. You're gonna have full control over that with Ordoro. You're gonna have deep access into their API as well so you could scale this really, really deeply here without losing any type of functionality or any efficiency. And this also works really well if you have multi-warehouse inventory, a lot of sellers, Shopify, Amazon, maybe even more, all being able, accounted for, all being able to run through Ordoro as well. And this is kind of really the reason why with uh, high volume orders, you're just gonna see a huge benefit in your efficiency in the way things operate. Once you start using Ordoro, shipping is really gonna to totally transform for your business, your entire fulfillment process will. And once you start to integrate these automation rules, you could save a lot of time while still having that full power of Ordoro. A lot of different things that you could do here, great support as well to help you out along the way, batch processing to make sure that especially if you have a very typical product type or a specific order or fulfillment type, you get that done ASAP. But really the bottom line is you have full control, you have full flexibility, you'll be able to control fulfillment, drop shipping, which warehouse, which method, et cetera, et cetera. Order splitting as well in here to kind of deal with any different type of scenario that might come up and still maintain the functionality and automation of your fulfillment. So there's really a lot that Ordoro can do and we're gonna go over the shoulder, you'll see a little bit more. You're looking at the Ordoro Shopify app page. You see the link below this video. Take a look at the perfect five out of five star reviews over here. And uh, really there's a lot that you're gonna get with Ordoro. We're gonna go over the shoulder, but all you need to do is press this green add app button. This is going to install the app for you over here. Free plan available, 15 day free trial. You just press the green install app button. Once you're installed and set up, you'll be brought into your dashboard. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect your store. It's super easy. You go up here to the settings and now we're gonna click sales channels and add a sales channel. We're gonna come down here and of course select Shopify. What we now need to do is copy and paste our store URL. This is our ugly myshopify.com link. So not your domain, but your myshopify. Then you're gonna simply press the add sales channel button. You can have multiple sales channels on here as well. And now you see on the top, this little gray spinner. This is just showing that it's importing the data and it's processing all that data automatically for you in the background. Next, we want to create a warehouse. We're gonna come back over here into account settings. This time we're gonna click warehouse and we're gonna click add a warehouse. 
Now you do wanna make sure that your warehouse has two words, literally two words in this case, second warehouse. This is just a uh, shipping profile requirement with a lot of the uh, providers. Next thing that you wanna do, of course, you're gonna enter in your real phone number, email address, and then most importantly, your uh, shipping address over here for that warehouse. And that's gonna kind of uh, add all of this information in and associate it with any shipping profiles that are related with this address. You can come down here and press save. You could have, again, multiple warehouses over here. And when you head back over to products, you'll now see that second warehouse or any warehouse is listed with your inventory. So let's talk about creating shipping labels. In this case, a single label. And all you need to do is select the order that you wanna create the label for. And you're simply gonna enter in all of the different information regarding that order weight, dimensions, and you see the different shipping methods come up. You see the ETAs in terms of when they're going to arrive. You get all this information right over here. You see the cost. Then you simply press create label. You're now gonna be presented with different options for printing that label. You have a thermal printer or whatever, and you're good to go. To create a batch of labels all at the same time, all you need to do, just select the multiple orders that you wanna create the labels for. Here, you're gonna to wanna to ensure that the shipping dimensions and the weights, the package information, are all the same. And what we could do is actually come over and edit these all at once. We can use something like the uh, preset option over here, or we could use the shipping configuration option. Either case, as long as we have the order selected, we're gonna be able to change them all at once. So we could do preset and find one of our preset sizes, updating them, and you'll see all the orders will update with that preset. Or we could just create our own configuration right here, choosing our carrier account, choosing the packaging, choosing the different rates and the sizes and all that stuff, you'll see it all update as well. Then we simply press the orange button. We're gonna create all, in this case, all five of them. And again, we can print them as we want on this view print page. I definitely wanna show you shipping presets. These are super powerful, especially when you're selling a lot of the same products. Let's say you have a couple of top sellers. You'll definitely wanna set these up. All you need to do is come over here and select the different shipping options like weights, dimensions, all that uh, good stuff, kind of putting that all in here and choosing a base setup. Then we're gonna come over and click presets and save current preset. And what we're gonna do is create a preset here. We can give it a name, of course, but you see that there are a lot of different options and we have full control over this process in terms of creating the preset. We have carrier specific options. For example, we can default it out to be with USPS. We can come over here, default it out to be first class mail. You see all the different options over here, box shape as well. Lots of other options as well that we can kind of dig into and get even more specific in terms of some of the items in here. For example, dimensions, weight, packaging weight, right? Total weight over there. And what we have is the ability to get individual and have presets that are really going to fit all of our uh, most popular and most common products. We could have presets for every single product type in our store. Again, just give it a name over here, be as descriptive as possible so you can understand exactly uh, what the preset is for when you have a big list of them. Now, when you want to go ahead and apply a preset, all you need to do is just come under presets and click on the preset name. That will apply to any of the selected orders. Again, we can come right over here, click on the bulk and do them all at once, the bulk update of our uh, shipping profiles into that preset. So very easy to do. We could do it on an individual level as well. It doesn't matter. We just go right into presets and select our preset. My favorite feature in here, I'm gonna show you the automations. Super, super powerful. We're up here in uh, the account settings and down into automations and then rules, and we're gonna go and create a new rule. And you see that there's this basic if and then setup here. We're basically gonna set up what is gonna be the trigger and then what is gonna happen. And in this case, if the requested shipping method is free shipping, we're going to apply a shipping preset, in this case, our seven by seven by seven over here. So you see it's a basic if and then, all you need to do is just press save. And this is gonna create automated uh, kind of actions here. And you see all the different kind of data points that we could choose from. Order ID, sales channel, notes, bill to information. Again, leveraging all of the uh, direct data from Shopify because we've made that integration when we installed the app. We can even have product specific filtering over here. And then here are the different kind of then actions allocating order, applying tags, applying presets like you saw up there, makes everything a lot easier, very powerful. So that was Ordoro, and as you see, incredibly powerful. Lots of big companies using this successfully to streamline fulfillment, to get more profit margin, 
to really have all of your systems running at full operational speed, consolidating those orders, having the best shipping options, having great support as well. They're always available Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time to reach out and help you with all of your fulfillment needs. But make sure you go ahead and get this integrated. This is a must have for your Shopify store. Simply gonna just make you uh, make more money, increase your profit margins just by getting all of your systems dialed in. So highly recommended. You see the link directly below this video. Make sure you get it in your store. Hope this helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.